Summer is fun, but it's also storm season. Are you ready? Severe weather can quickly cause heavy winds and flash flooding. Knowing what you need in case you find yourself cut off or you have to evacuate is really important. Get ready with a storm plan. Meet Nikita. She's onto it. To get ready for storm season this summer, Nikita's first step was to visit getready.qld.gov.au. She downloaded the Get Ready Emergency Kit and this gave her a checklist of everything she'd need to survive up to three whole days of severe weather without running water or electricity. The basics don't cost much, and by adding them to your shopping list, you too can be prepared in no time at all. A basic emergency kit consists of 12 litres of water per person, non-perishable food like canned and packaged foods, torches and fresh batteries, battery-powered radio, portable phone charger, medication, nappies and formula, and pet food. You could also include a portable gas cooker. It's a great way to heat up food if you have one. By doing a little bit of homework, you'll also learn some great safety tips. Like instead of using candles, an LED torch is a safer option, especially around children and pets. If the storm is getting really gnarly, and depending on where you live or where you're staying, you may be advised to evacuate, so make sure you stay tuned. Tune into your local TV and radio for warnings. This is where your battery-powered radio could really come in handy. Log on to the Bureau of Meteorology website to check for weather updates. Listen out for emergency warnings. And act quickly on the advice provided. Meet Brody. Brody lives in a flood zone and knows all too well the importance of having a well-rehearsed evacuation plan. Like Nikita, Brody's first step was to visit the Get Ready website where he downloaded the Get Ready Evacuation Plan. This lists all the steps you'll need to evacuate quickly and safely in case of severe flooding. Evacuating at the right time is critical. At the first sign of bad weather, Brody's plan of attack is to pack his evacuation kit and arrange to stay with friends outside the flood zone. The evacuation kit Brody's prepared includes warm clothes, bedding, toiletries, medication needed for three or four days, cash, a mobile phone charger, and valuables and important documents he may need. So, are you ready? Don't wait till it's too late. Make sure you have an emergency plan like Nikita and Brody. It's an important step to surviving Queensland storm season. And if you do find yourself in an emergency situation, here's some key points to remember. If you plan to evacuate to an emergency shelter, check locations by following Noosa Council on Facebook and Twitter. Then wait for instructions provided by your local ABC radio station or on TV. And remember, never drive through floodwaters. You're always better off staying put. To receive up-to-the-minute severe weather updates, check out the Bureau of Meteorology's website, bomb.gov.au. Call triple zero for life-threatening emergencies. Or if you require emergency storm and flood assistance, call the State Emergency Service on 132 500. Ah, Queensland. Beautiful one day, cyclonic the next. Brought to you by Noosa Council and Noosa Flexible Learning Centre and funded by the Queensland Government.